Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I can't believe I'm back, like it feels so good to like be sitting here in front of the camera speaking to you guys again, like I absolutely love it. Yeah, today I'm back with a monthly faves vid and I thought I'd switch it up a little bit this month. The other monthly faves vid was very beauty related, makeup, like you know, products that I've been liking. I think I did some clothes and stuff in that, I don't even remember. But I thought this month I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to add a bit of everything in there. It's not just beauty products that I like. I like music, I like TV shows, I like movies. So I thought this month I'm going to come and put a different spin on it because, you know, it's not always beauty products you guys want to know about. So yes, I have to feature some beauty products in this vid because it's just not really a monthly phase without my beauty favourites. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this forever. Six In six months time, if if you see me using another cream, mind your business. But for now, this shit right here. This cream, oh my God. I can't even begin to describe the smell, the amount it moisturizes, everything. The first one I bought, it was like a squeezy bottle and I thought, oh, it would be so much easier if they had it in a pump action. And I went online and checked, and they do. And so I bought it. Um, I got a two pack off Amazon. Mmm. -hmm. Honestly, 10 out of 10 marks for this. Like the the amount it's moisturising. There's just the right amount of oil in it. Like honestly, it's it is perfect for my skin. And I can't see myself using another cream. I've never met a cream. Met. <laughs> I've never had a cream that was as nice as this. I would recommend this to like everyone because it's amazing and i put it on my story the other day and i had so many people popping me up like oh my god i love this cream bitch me too <laughs> so another product i've been loving it's not even a product but it's just something which helps my life so much is this little thing here so what it is it is a iron medicine because i'm actually anemic so i need iron and this Oh my god, the amount of energy this gives you, like, you won't believe it, it's actually amazing. Like, there was one week when I tested out trying it, one spoon every day, I actually haven't used it today, which is kind of bad of me, but this one spoon every day can't go wrong, like, honestly, like, especially if you're anemic, um, I think you can take it if you're not anemic as well, but, oh my gosh, it just stops that tired feeling, like, you actually want to do work, you want to do things, and... This has actually changed my life because I will be buying this every month now and I will be using this every day because I am anemic and I should do something about it. Um, I never used to take iron tablets anyway, but this is just apparently a better source of iron as well. Apparently it's better than just taking the dry tablet. Um, cons, it doesn't really taste that nice. It tastes disgusting, especially when you're taking it, which is first thing in the morning. So I always have like my water there as my chaser. Just Oh, it's like orange. It's like an orange flavour. But it tastes like metal at the same time. Oh, God, no. Awful taste. But you know what? What it does for you is amazing. So, another thing I've been loving this month is these little tool little sissies right here. It's L'Oreal Fine Flowers Toner and the uh, Fine Flowers... Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I'm back for makeup removal, but I just use it in the morning before I do my makeup. I put this on first and then I use the milk. And I don't know, it just kind of sets your face for the makeup to come onto your face because I'm not going to lie to you, I've run out of my moisturizer and I just haven't got around to buying a new one. So this has really been helping like to just set my face before I put my foundation on it. So yeah, um that I've been loving these. I done my friend's makeup the other day and obviously I prepped it again with these and she was like, oh God, my skin feels good already. So, you know, this is the shit. I'm gonna go eat my lunch and come back. I just had my lunch and yeah, it was really nice. Thanks for asking. Just to throw this in, um, this is in my other beauty favorites video. It's the Revolution Concealer in the color C8. But they've just done a super sized version now, which is just amazing for me because I get through so many of these. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly mention that. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because you know, I went into detail on the last bit. So the next category I'm gonna do is 
a film series and just stuff to watch that I've been absolutely loving. I've recently finished my masters so I've been able to just binge watch loads of stuff that I've been wanting to watch throughout the year. You don't actually realise how busy the masters makes you and then you know you've got four pieces of work to do and there's also Stranger Things and all these different things to watch on Netflix and you're like oh like you feel awful watching it knowing you've got four assignments to get done and your final project so the first one um i saw it advertised on social media actually i didn't act because i don't watch tv it's not like i saw adverts for it my mom had but um it's the rap game oh my god that's I've been literally loving that show like on Friday when it was coming out on iPlayer I was just so tempted to watch it but I used to wait for Saturday because you know it's just everyone in my house watched it on a Saturday and then we'd all get together after and talk about like who we liked and everything. I'd say for a long time, obviously the show's finished now but I'd say for a long time I was rooting for Foss. Hey, Towards the end, obviously, the comments that the people made were about people's progression and who'd progressed the most and who was constantly getting better and rather than just kind of staying stagnant so towards the end i was rooting for change like i really really wanted change to win like 10 10 wanted him to win the whole homeless situation like i was just drawn to him i think and Honestly, I just felt so sorry for him and I really wanted him to win, I did, like, and it wasn't like a sympathy vote kind of thing, it was like, wow, like, he, musically, he was really impressing me as well, like, I'm acting like I'm um, some critique. We all suffer, but I guess it's just the way of life. And from depression to anxiety, you lost communications and you feel the pain inside of you. Your gut feelings rise the truth when people tell a lie or two, so hush. And show them what that silence do. Hey, I'm proud of this motherfucker. It's hard to stare at darkness when you sleep on your own. So in fact, you'd never know you gave your demons a home. But musically, he was really improving. Like when he come on the drill beat, loved it. I love drill music, so I'll be here. Roads, risky, cold, shifty, Lord. Lift me, protect me with your guidance. Lean in the cart head, twist like khaki. Water on my grass and it's green like khaki. Girl with a back that's archy, real she nasty, smooth one, yeah she. So yeah, um, Che towards the end, I really wanted him to win. Also, Lady Ice, I really liked as well. Mm. Oh now nah, it's never that, cause I've been bad. Look at the palm up in my hand, you ain't been that, cause I got flaws. I got the bad, cause you've been rap, cause I got flaws to push you with luck. Like, I don't wanna hear about melting ice. I don't wanna hear about thinking she's nice. I don't wanna hear about skip the flows or bright clothes, cause you can't think of a line. I think you can tell the ones I liked from who I'm following on Instagram. Um, I follow Foss on Instagram, Kiko, um, Lady Eyes, and Chade. Yeah, those were the four people I liked. Obviously, everyone else, no. You know, no shade to those. I really like those as well, and I thought everyone that was there in the end deserved to be there. But those were the highlighted people for me, and I really did want Che to win just because, you know. But you know what? I'm really happy for Kiko as well because I love how professional he kept it and all that kind of stuff. Like, um, when that whole thing happened just before he was going to go on his show and he had a little argument and all that. Um, I felt like he kept it so professional and just everything and I feel like he did deserve it as well like he deserved it too I'm whole can't care about man <laughs> my brother knee deep in the tea ish and that's paper plans plans I'ma come true like flash just take what I want never giving it back take right. some of mine must be dipping his crap TV boys still get a man slap and that's that I'll tell him just wait my body is mental get me get me get me yeah. because in the start he came on like really shaky and then he just you know sit from then he just progressed as well so yeah um that is the rap game i absolutely oh my god there's so many parts of it that i love but for me the highlight was when jay lucia and lady ice had that rap battle oh my god and if i had the power to resurrect ice put a ring your arm keep back back and 
The ice is auntie who passed away. That's deep. That's going for the, the, the jugular. Have you got a passport? How did you come through transport? And your cane rolls look dead and you know your head is the shape of a camcord. Now let's get this deep in ice. The first challenge you cheated ice and you won them last night but you didn't ice. We know those bars were written ice. Don't Images touch they don't, even... touch don't touch me. Don't touch me. All right, Kuya. You told everybody in this house that you cracked in one girl. Then you said crepes with Conan's ex and you smashed crepes of a girl. And I swear on my life you can ask these guys they were stood in the kitchen first. And on your mum's life no word of a lie because you chat too much Bullshit. get a purse. Bullshit. That was so drama filled. I absolutely loved that episode. And I also liked the episode when the influencers came in and made their kind of. I like that that specific part of that episode. Come on, Sam, put it ginger. Said she fell in love with our singer, eh? Yeah. I was not feeling it. Liked the aspects where they brought in like celebrities like AJ Tracy, Miss, stuff like that. Like, I just really, really, really like that show. Um, so yeah, that's enough about the rap game because it's actually finished now anyway. So yeah, but really loved that show. I really loved it and I can't wait for the next one to come on. So next is, I don't know if you guys have been watching it, but it's something called The Capture. So today is the fifth out of six episode oh my god i'm so excited because it's really starting to hot up now what the fuck was that that didn't fucking happen none this is fucking real this didn't fucking happen none this fucking happened it was good from the beginning to be honest but it's really starting to hot up now and if you haven't watched it i would really recommend that you watch it um yeah i don't want to go too into detail about what's happening there because i hate it when someone tells me to watch something and then goes and tells me everything that's going on um so i don't want to go too into detail about it but it's about a guy who's being accused of something and all the all the receipts and footage of him are pointing towards the fact that he's done it but we see we're starting to see that maybe the footage may have been manipulated but that's as far as i'm gonna go with it because i think if i go any further i'm gonna ruin it for you guys it's so good though like drama filled we know, yeah following someone or something you see the red prius seriously yeah <laughs> oh i'm all over it son yeah but just don't get too excited yeah never mind going to get we go you wait till i tell me mate so i had you in the back of my cab <laughs> so how long was it you was banged up for I did six months. Just for doing your duty? It's bleeding outrageous, that is. Honestly, it's not like you were sent out there to read a bedtime story, is mate, it? Mate, you missed a turning. Oh, shit. Mate, you missed a turning. Let me out of the car. Let me out of the car. Oi! Let me out of the car. Stop the car. Hey! Stop the car. Hey! Stop the car for me! And I love when I can binge watch something like that. Like, you know, when someone's waiting for a series like every week like it's a bit annoying like i hate the fact that i'm waiting every week for one to come on now i'd prefer to just binge watch it but you know what it adds to the suspense and all that kind of stuff so yeah that's what it's called it's called the capture and i would definitely recommend it on bbc one and it comes on on i think it comes on at nine every tuesday next week is the last one so so moving on another thing that i've been absolutely loving is black mirror on netflix so i've been told to watch black mirror quite a lot like loads of people have told me to watch black mirror throughout uni i was being told to watch it but the way it was explained to me made it sound like a some like something kind of scary and i wasn't really feeling it for a long time i was not feeling it i think i'd ran out of things to watch and I was just like, you know what, let's give this Black Mirror Malarkey a try. And I just pressed play on it. And ever since, like, I'm deep in Black Mirror now, um, what I've been doing is skipping certain episodes. I've been looking on the internet for, like, the most popular episodes. So I've watched all the good ones now. Uh, to watch it, you don't need to have watched the previous episode or any previous seasons like every episode is an individual episode and for example now you want to go and watch black mirror you could start on season five episode three and there'd be no issue with that because it's not like you're missing anything or you're supposed to know what happened before because every episode is completely different i've actually got the episodes up now so i'm gonna tell you guys which ones that i really like season four uss callister love it and i think that is actually one of my favorite episodes like of all time to be honest with you season three i really like noel's dive um 
I really like Shut Up and Dance, like, wow, like, I'm not even going to say, like, what I was just about to say, because it might ruin it for you, but Shut Up and Dance was, I really liked that one, it was, like, oh, you just spend the whole episode feeling sorry for this guy, the, the protagonist is it i love it you just gotta watch it san junipero i don't know if i'm saying that right that got really good reviews online and i watched it and i really didn't like it i was not feeling it like i think i don't know if people are going to be upset at me for saying that but i really didn't like that episode like i thought what this is like it was like number rated like number one on a lot of websites and i thought Sis, did, did we just watch the same thing? Let's go, okay, oh, season. Oh God, I've gone back on season four. I'm like a mom with this thing sometimes. So season two, oh my God, I really liked White Bear. The Waldo moment was probably my least favorite from that one, but it was still like a decent watch. Um, I liked to be right back, but again, it was like a really weird concept. And then I didn't like the ending of that one either. It was just like, what? like so yeah um that one and then white christmas was a really good one because it was like stories within stories and yeah that one was a really good concept like yeah so yeah the whole of season one so i really like the national anthem but i will say it is completely different to any other black mirror episodes you're gonna see but yeah like it was a good introductory episode i think after you get over the initial oh that was it i'm not gonna it, it doesn't carry on from here i think once you get over that it's like it's easy from there um i really liked 15 million merits as well so i just like the, the whole of season one basically so another thing i've been loving this month tv and film is the circle last year after love island finished my sister started telling me to watch this show called the circle and she was like oh you'd really like it jasmine it's so like your kind of thing and i thought oh like she explained the concept to me and again i thought doesn't really sound like a me thing <laughs> Like, I think, like, sometimes when people explain stuff, it, like, you know, it doesn't really do much for me. I feel like I need to just see it for myself. But anyway, yeah, my sister told me to watch it, and I started watching it. And I think I ended up watching more than her of it, to be honest with you. And then this year, I started applying to actually go on the show myself, because I liked it that much, and I liked the concept and everything. And, um... I didn't finish my application, stupid of me, because I thought I was still going to be doing my masters while the show was going on. How wrong was I? I was a bit annoyed that I didn't apply, but who's to say I would have even got anywhere anyway. But yeah, the circle's back on and I am loving it. Like every night I wait for this show to come on and it's a bit annoying because it comes on a little bit late as well, but we're quite deep in now so i'd say we're like a week into the circle at the moment um the situation is that georgina and tim are influencers and to be honest i'm really happy about that because they're my two favorite players and then brooks my third favorite or whatever like brooks up there let's say um but yeah they're my top three um i'd say that i really like ella she's just come in though so i haven't got to see enough of her yet woody he seems like a really nice guy but i don't know if he's gonna last in the circle if you know what i mean um i do really like him though he's like he seems like a genuine kid katie aka j um i think she's probably one of my least favorite to be honest with you um i don't know like there's just something that being a viewer that i just really don't like about someone faking it like as much as she might be a lovely woman and everything like the fact that people are on there faking it i think they're my least favorite and it's kind of reflected within the vaults in the house as well because i think the three people that are faking it are like fifth sixth and seventh so it's very telling people are probably starting to like cutting on to what's going on there so tim oh my god he's my fave like his one-liners all the stuff he comes out with like i'm gonna insert some clips because oh my god tim is my heart i love him georgina as well she's exactly the same she's just herself and you can tell that the people that are just themselves are the ones that are doing the best in there um so yeah i really like georgina and i really liked him um georgina's the girl who has crohn's disease she's just a lovely girl like she's just like one of those people who make the best out of a bad situation and just don't feel too sorry for themselves they just get on with life and 
you have to admire people like that you have to adore people like that because girl like that must be hard do you know what i mean and you could tell all the older people in there are really like drawn to her because of that because they realize how hard it must be and she's only 21 and she's so positive about it i really like georgina she's i think she's one of my faves to be honest i can't really decide between her and tim because tim is just a really good contender as well like he's hilarious let's be honest so is georgina though but yeah guys um it was really nice to film another video like for you guys like it, it's, it feels so weird to be back um but i love it at the same time like i, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else other than back i hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have then smash a big thumbs up and comment down below and you know subscribe to my channel so yeah guys i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.